Let us look at the next one. All right, we've got a 60 millimeter diameter uh, solid shaft subjected to the distributed and concentrated loading. So there's this distributed load of two kilonewtons, kilonewton meters per meter. Those are units kind of weird, aren't they? Uh, but let's, we'll talk about that, think about that. We've got a 60 newton meter torque here. We've got a 600, yes, we've got a 600 right here. We've got a 400 over here. All right, so we want to know shear stress at point A. Let's start, I think that one is pretty easy to see, right? The shear stress at point A. Shear stress, TR over J. So we need to cut it and solve for the T. What is the T? What is the T inside that section? Do I need to draw a free body diagram? Or if we've got 400 going over that way, we would need 400 going over that way. It'd be a negative 400, right? I, 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 just, I just kept that section, and I know I need a 400, and the cut is right there. I'm kind of looking over the back side of the cut. I've got 400 here. I'm at the cut. I need 400. My thumb's pointed uh, this way right there. So the shear stress, tau, tau, would be TR over J, would be, I'll, I'll put a negative, uh, 400 Newton meters. A looks to be on the outside edge. A looks to be on the outside edge if it's a 60 millimeter diameter. 30 millimeters is its R. Pi by 4, 30. No, 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 no. Oh, man. No, no wonder y'all make that mistake uh, so much on the test. Pi by 2. This J is pi by 2, R to the fourth. Pi by 2, R to the fourth. I did that on purpose just to show you. Don't do that. This is J. J is pi by 2, R to the fourth. Uh, I think I need that meters. Change that to millimeters. A thousand. Uh, one more zero. And so this tau at A, which is at this cut on the outside edge, would be negative 9.43 MPA. And I, I, I may say in the problem statement, Make sure your answer is positive or negative if I want you to be, if I want you to specify negative as opposed to just what's the magnitude of the stress. So that was at A. Now at B, we're going to have to hand, take care of this distributed load. All right, so at B, I want to know if I cut it right here, what is the torque at B? So, and I think the units kind of help you out here. That distributed load, it's not just applied at one place. It's applied over this point A. Uh, if I'm cutting it here, and I'm going to keep this side because I don't know what's happening at the wall. I've got 400. I've got 600. And then I've got that portion of the distributed load. If it, the distributed load, if it's 2 kilonewton meters per meter, and I have 0.4 meters worth of it, right? Two kilonewton meters per meter, and I've got 0.4 meters worth of it. Multiply two times 0.4, uh, then I would have that portion of it leads us to, it'd be 0.8 kilonewton meters. Everything else was in newton meters. It would be 800 Newton meters, right? This portion of the distributed load would be worth, you know, 800 Newton meters that way. So if I've got 800 and 400 going that way, and I've got 600 coming back this way, what do I need at the cut? <laughs> this torque, negative 600 Newton meters. That torque negative 600 Newton meters. So the tau at B would be 600 Newton meters times R. Is B on the outside edge? I, I drew on top. I think it is on the outside edge. 
So it's all the way at 30 millimeters, pi by two, r to the fourth, convert this meters to millimeters. And now when I do all that math, my calculator spits out my answer as 14.1 and that's MPA. We'll put a negative 14.1 MPA.